A 35 chief too. <laughs> yep, have four, go for it. Sorry. Uh, you can be around station eight. Yeah, give us a moment here. Ten. channel fire radio cheap two are you ocean king yeah car six we're, we're not sure we've just had a box delivered to the station um a bunch of white powder just ran out if you want to get pd down here for us please just to be on the safe side we can only have two Patients, Shaw and Campbell um, contaminated with this white powder. It's on their clothes. Campbell seems to be down. Shaw is um, conscious. Uh, we don't know what white powder it is. Uh, we have to check it for, with the equipment on. Fire radio, highest ranking. Be advised, I'm being advised that uh, the Leo units need a liaison outside. Copy that. Let them know that I'm en route. Anybody still in the building, please remain in the building at this time and hey, avoid skin hey, contact. Hey, I just got right here. What's going well. on? Some powder or something? Some type of chem or something? We uh, we need you to be our liaison because we have no communication inside the station. Okay, give me one second. All right. Uh, call in to the last tech over radio. Go for it. Yeah, Cohen to Davis. I'm gonna be outside talking with PD right now. What you need me to tell him? Let them know the situation with the white powder and the two down. Solid copy. We don't know what type of substances it is yet. Let me make sure. Just to confirm, we don't know what type of substances it is, yes? That is a negative. We do not. Yeah, we don't know what type of substance it is, but it. I do tell you, it sounds like it is a Wait, fact. Can you run me through a list substance. of symptoms that anyone who's come into contact is subjected to, as well as a rough time frames of when those symptoms took place, and we can try and start looking into what it might be immediately? Um, I know I heard Campbell coughing over the radio. Let me see what I can get. Uh, Cohen at last. Do we have a list of symptoms that they were expressing? I'm getting this from PDS. That's backwards talk, but it works. Uh, come across the sidewalk. It yeah. is to medical on scene. Can you advise? Yeah, has met five times. She is unconscious. Um, light breathing. Nothing else at this time. No extended injuries. She is conscious a lot. Um, having trouble breathing. So you mentioned coughing. Have we got any other idea of what else it might be? Um, fire tech 54. You said that the fire radio. Down in one of her. Was that like unconscious in response of anything along the line? Be advised, I was just advised Hold on a second, radio has a mess, what you say? CSD units will be checking all so you mentioned that, of the uh, other SAFR stations right? in the county to verify that no other packages yeah. were delivered. After that, was, uh, yeah, you said that one of them, or two of them might have went unresponsive? Isolate. One unconscious, one is still up. Uh, Both further. were coughing, from what I could hear over the radio. So copy will advise. No other symptoms have been listed to me by the medic treating them right now. How long ago did this, uh, did, were they exposed to this, like, your initial start time if we got, like... Can I get a firefighter not currently in the front? He was around... Out front with the 735, truck, maybe? 736? Those are about when stuff started getting called over the radio. They just basically want to know what you guys need from us and... You know, well, vice versa. Davis, yeah. the units inside. I think the main, the main I thing of her right now is just getting everyone the decon zone. And, and we will immediately get medical them help, out get them out help, but I want to just try and find out what it is, and then that way it just helps um, both the, the doctors at the, which are the hospital they're going to the identify what it might be, and for us to identify what it might be. Right, right. Off station 8. Oh, I think that might be Davis behind me. 
Yeah, so they're setting up a decon line now, I'm thinking. I don't know what Medic is doing. <laughs> you guys got here fast. Uh-huh. Well, uh, well, a lot of us were just at the Spoochy PD, so... Yeah, fair enough. I don't guys. Go for David. And can I just get your name for the record and all that? Yeah, Sabrina calling PIO 18. Good night. Hello, on this, on this decon line becoming operational. Uh, give me five minutes. Okay, needs to be quicker. Copy, I can only place down barriers so fast. <laughs> uh, based on any type of other radio traffic, was there any other indications of anything that like, struck hard or anything that might like, provide any info? Okay, okay. Can I get a status on You said struck what? I'm sorry? I got a uh, type of like struck a corner as in like time. something that kind of um, gives an idea sure of anything that might help. Um, conscious a lot. His yeah. The powder... My brain immediately went to either some sort of fentanyl or ricin, I don't know. It's not ricin, obviously, because we'd have to be having a different reaction, I'd have to bet. But you know how back in the day people used to put powder and shit on the letters and send them to the White House and dumb stuff like that? Yeah, that anthrax. Anthrax, that's Over the there. one I was looking for. Once you have decon set up, ready I mean, I don't hear anything. I don't know the uh, symptoms for that emergency. stuff, but I'm not hearing anything that sounds like that. Because that stuff can be lethal, it, can it? It can be, that's why I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Hey Chief, have we got any update of what symptoms the people inside might be suffering? No, I got no comms, I'm just coordinating everyone on the outside. Um... I, I my question's coming. Go on, let's not have much news? to go on until they get clear. Yeah, it's hard because I don't want to meddle too much and jam up traffic, so getting information yeah, in and out is kind of difficult not right now. I'm in contact with the patients and yeah, all the okay. powder. You want me, uh... You're fine with me coming out and helping with the de decon line? I want me to stay in here. Stay in there. Anybody in the building could possibly have been exposed by the HVAC system. Is it just those Painful. two down? What are, their, what are their chief complaints, do you know? Um... Cough. One's unconscious, so it's mostly a cough so far. There's... let me see if I can... the radio's clear for the moment. Colin, do we have any other chief complaints other than coughing? Hey, if I show a complaint of dizziness, um... Dizziness? That's about it. Alright, dizziness and coughing. And pinpoint, um, pupils. So it's pinpoint it's pupils. Pinpoint pupils. We're not sure what. Ten fart. You said pinpoint pupil? Yeah, pinpoint pupil, like potential overdose. That's probably not gonna be any kind of WMP then. It's probably gonna be a narcotic. So. What did I say? It was pinpoint people's coffin and what was the third thing? Dizziness. Dizziness. That's the one. I, I don't know why my brain got sweating. I don't they feel bogged down at all. They're really condensing this. Are they complaining of any heaviness or bogged down feeling at all? Or do you not mean a symptom? Do you mean like traffic? No, no, no. Exactly what you just said is fine. Oh, okay. I just want to see if we can identify as potentially fentanyl. Yeah. Yeah, sure, I'm just trying to figure out what the is fentanyl. It sounds like it, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, Davis. Yeah, we'll get a, we have a test rapid that got uh, set decon with your hazmat set guys, up. So we'll find that out. We can go ahead and bring them out, bring them through. Davis, before we do that, can we grab me a drug bag for medic one, please? ASAP. Copy. Also gonna want a stretcher set up, ready to go for that decon. Jefferson, uh, drug bag to treat them. I need a drug, yeah, I need a drug bag. And they'll be once we get the uh, cleat of Nola, only to access the CCTV the inside to kind of identify through. what might have happened Quickly. in the pencil. Right, right. I saw the box when I was going back and forth, but I figured, you know, best not touch it, let the sheep touch it, because it was labeled to her. 
it was specifically labeled to the chief, which chief would it be? It didn't have a name, I just said any chief officer. Alright, Angel and Cam, we're gonna be going under rapid decon. Are we exiting through the engine bay, or...? Go through the front. I've got a sheet set up to prevent spread. Was it just like a normal cargo box? Or yeah, it was, was a, it like, a... like a normal Amazon box. Yeah, it was just, you know, sitting there. No the markings on it, it was just two chief officers? Yep, pretty much. Uh, any indication of who might drop it off? There are two civvies who were walking in and as I was walking out, they seemed to have a relationship to the department in some capacity, so I don't think it was them. But I didn't quite get their names either. Was one in a wheelchair? Uh, I don't believe so. It was a redhead female in a leather jacket and a other female in a pink cowboy hat? I just pulled them over. Oh, okay, then yeah, probably not them. They're the... no, uh... I'm probably gonna clear off because I got a buttload of paperwork to do now. Alright, sounds good. Just let uh, Detective huh? North know that. This... Uh, Roger that. Just hurry up before he gets too you know, soon. Uh, you will be safe, alright? Let me know if you need anything. Oops, sorry there. Oops, sorry. that but does it for this video we've wrapped up the scene and i'm about to start doing the paperwork right now but yeah that made for a pretty interesting whole scenario with the whole hazmat activation but yeah um hopefully you guys enjoyed that watching all of that i didn't expect to do as much coordinating and you know information gathering as i did on that scene but I was more than happy and obliged to do it and uh yeah like comment subscribe do what you want to do as always check out sandra's finest link is in the description goodbye Thank <laughs> you.